Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs I remember five years ago, Jeremy came to visit me and my family in Colorado for a week while he was on vacation with his friend. You know, it was fun getting to see him for the entire week out there. You know, we went to the top of the mountains out there, went ATV riding. It was real fun. Hey, Jer. I miss you, cousin. Some of my best memories of you. Um, I remember when you were a baby and I used to be forced to babysit you every Friday because your parents and my parents went to the racetrack and they would take Jeffrey. And I remember I'd put you on the couch to go to sleep when you were a baby. I'd put all the dining room chairs in front of you so you wouldn't fall off because I wanted to take care of you. And then remember that time we were at Grandma's house and you'd always hit your muscles and you'd go, now go tell your friends. I remember that. And I remember all the parties that you showed up to at my house. And I miss you, and I love you, and I had the best time with you, cousin. I remember when we came to Landon's first birthday, and my birthday when I was turning six. And I remember when um, you, um, would, you would always hold me. I remember. Alright, um, my name's Isaiah. I've been friends with Jeremy since we were about seven, eight years old. Uh, one of the greatest kids I've ever known. Just to name a story, we got so many stories to tell, but, you know, one of the funniest stories that I can think about with Jeremy is, you know, one time he was a bartender at a club called Entourage that we all used to work at. And um, I was actually trying to be cool, and there was a candle lit on the bar. And I had my arm over it, and my shirt caught on fire, and Jeremy just washed it and didn't tell me, because the fact that, you know, when he was bartender, he used to just feed me drinks. So I thought it was cool at the time to get a bunch of girls over, like, yeah, hey, what do you guys want to drink? And I put my arm over, and then my shirt catches on fire, and Jeremy just sits there watching and laughing. That was just hilarious. But just to name a few, Jeremy, I love you, bro. I miss you. We did this for you. We miss you. We got a lot more coming for you. Your kids are going to be all right, I promise. We make sure they're going to be okay. And uh, I miss you, bro. Uh, it's really hard for me to say. Um, kind of nervous about things like this, but Jeremy was an incredible person. Real funny, real laid back. Pretty much the opposite of what I was. I, you know, first met him in wrestling practice and I just, I never understood why he was like that. I figured, you know what, he's just goofing off or whatever, but that's just how he was. And I still remember when we snuck out when we went downstate. Snuck out in DeKalb and uh, went to go hang out and uh, some uh, managers, some managers uh, um, motel room and we had some fun that night. We had uh, we had to have the coach get us back in the room because my brother fell asleep, so we couldn't get back in until the coach let us in and. Uh, Wish we could have had more memories like that. We'll meet again someday, buddy. So I would have to say my best memory with Jeremy is when we went to Florida 
I mean, it was ridiculous. We went over to the, we were at this place on West Palm Beach, and Jeremy, Lock, oh, we were partying all day and hanging out and drinking by the pool, and all of a sudden, we were like, where's Jeremy? We couldn't find Jeremy. So me and Vince and a couple other people that we were with, we're, we're looking everywhere for Jeremy, we can't find him. Hold on one second. Fuck you. Hey, come here. So we couldn't find Jeremy anywhere. Finally, we go in the room, we're pounding on the door, we can't find him, we can't open up the door. So we have the security come up and they have to open up the door. We had the security come up, they have to open up the door, which charges 250 bucks just to come up and open up the door. We find Jeremy butt naked, laying on the bed, spread eagle, passed out. We try to wake him up, he doesn't wake up, nobody knows, he doesn't know what's going on. And then we're like, Jeremy is like, he's like, where's my drink? That'll probably be my funniest story with Jeremy that's appropriate to tell here. Um, other than that, I would have to say when Jeremy got hit on by Carrie Hilson and didn't even know it was her, and just denied her and just like walked away from her. That was probably my other fa funniest thing. Who's next? All right, my funniest Jeremy story, my me famous memory is he, we used to work at Philly Libertine and he would be bartending all the gay parties. And we all know Jeremy was a Ken doll. So uh, he was definitely the hot commodity behind the bar. So watching him fight off all of the uh, regulars at the gay night for Philly Libertine had to be one of my funniest memories of Jeremy. Man, rest in peace, buddy. Miss you. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm Bampa. I'm Jessica. And these are our memories of Jeremy. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of stories. I guess one memory I have of Jeremy is um, his first night bartending at Entourage in the city. <laughs> and he was so nervous. Um, and we all came to see him on his first night. And we were all there for him. And he, well, he was just really nervous, sweating, and just. He, got, he was <laughs> so he was he was so nervous that he didn't even make us pay for the shots. He's like, just fucking take them. Like, who cares? Uh, another memory I have of Jeremy is uh, him always showing up late to Entourage. Uh, every time he'd come in, he'd hit me with a boom and then headbutt me. I guess our best memories of Jeremy is uh, beautiful smile. And love just hanging out with him. I don't know. His energy for life and his love for life. Yeah. Pretty much. And we and love him. Anybody and everybody. And going to third base. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Jeremy. Love, love you, Jeremy. Mwah. All right. So I'd just like to tell a quick story about my brother. Uh, just one of, there's a ton of memories that aren't really appropriate for camera. So uh, one specific memory is... Basically, my wife was living with us, and uh, my brother decided he was getting out of the shower, and he decided it was a good time to moon my wife. So he came out and decided he was going to moon my wife and was just in strictly a towel. So <laughs> he decided he was going to come out and moon Adrian, slipped on his own wetness. Everything was all out for my wife to see and just completely busted his shit in front of everybody. And uh, <laughs> that's just one story. So anybody that wants to hear anything else, you're going to have to buy me a couple drinks and meet me at the bar. I'm out. All right, so not much other than I know him as the best person that anybody could have known. And uh, he did a fantastic job working for me, and I'm a better man for knowing him. I just want to say... Good luck with the rest of the kids' life, and uh, you're just a great person. Hey, Jeremy. What up, brother? I love you, man. I fucking I miss you crazy. Every day is the same living without you. Remember all our good times out. Everything's going to be, uh, it's not the same. That's all I can say. Remember all our good nights out. I remember Naperville, you going to the gas station. Going in the aisle towards the chips and pissing in the middle of the damn aisle and the gas station clerk calling the cops. Either way, it was a good time. I remember every single moment. And bro, uh, nothing will be the same without you, man. I really can't, words can't describe how much I miss you. I love you, brother. See you another day, man. All right, Jared, just wanted to let you know, man, I'm missing you still. Everyone here, I can speak for everybody, says that they miss you a lot. Uh, I personally miss you smiling and goofy-ass ways. Um, trying to think of some good times that we had together, man. 
and there's a bunch of them, but ones that really stick out in my head is when we first started kicking it back in like sixth grade, and uh, everybody was like, you know, it'll be fun if you and Jeremy, you know, box it up and got grab some boxing gloves. So and I, I mean, still to this day, I know I whipped your ass, and I know you'll deny it to this day too. But uh, I mean, I, I'll let it rest now, you know, and, and we can argue again about it someday when I meet you back up, you know, in paradise, brother. Uh, but true honesty, dude. Um, getting, I, I'm getting all choked up, but uh, I also remember when we go out every time, Ryan can contest to this, always having to borrow my outfits, you know, a shirt, maybe a pair of pants, even though it might not fit you, still always stealing my stuff. But I got mad love for you, kid, and I miss you a bunch. Uh, see you again someday, brother. Love you. Hey, Jer. You know what, buddy? As much as you pissed me off over the years, I freaking loved you to a hilt, and I miss you so much. I will never forget when we got the pool and you and Jess first had Tyler and the only thing you could do was jump into your swimsuit and look at me and say let's go to the pool gotta get in the pool gotta get in the pool right now and you smoke your cigarette and you go jump in the pool and you and Justin would do your little backflips off my banister teaching the young kids bad things to do getting into the pool anyways that's one of my fondest memories of you because you were just funny about the whole thing. And I also, two nights ago, just reminded Jessica how much I missed you because when it came time to taking the garbage out, Jer, you were always there for me and you would look at me and say, hey, I'll take it out for you and you always did. I love you so much and I miss you and I really wish you were here and I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Jeremy and I had a uh, special greeting. Some guys shake hands. We had a different way of acknowledging each other. It was this, Jeremy, this is for you. I love you, and I'll never forget you. I always considered you a brother. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life.